Hi, my name is Tash and I am a final year medical student at King's College London. In this video, I'm going to be sharing with you how I use Quizlet to study at medical school. So first of all, I like to have Quizlet opened up on one half of my screen and my university notes or lecture slides on the other side. So to make a new study set on Quizlet, you just need to click on the plus icon and click create new study set. Today I'm going to be making some flashcards on mental health and then I'll just add in the subject name which of course is medicine and then I'm ready to make my flashcards. So using your university notes or lecture slides you want to pick out the key bits of information. I tend to find for me this is what are the symptoms, diagnoses and management of each condition. So first of all I could say what are the two core symptoms of depression? And then the answer is low mood and anhedonia. Anhedonia basically means a lack of interest in the things that one used to enjoy. Then I can say how many symptoms are needed for a diagnosis of mild depression. And then the answer is five plus minor functional impairment. Then I like to cover management, so I might ask what is the first line pharmacological management for depression? And the answer is a SSRI. Then I can say what psychological interventions can be used to manage depression, low and high intensity CBT and counselling. Then you just want to add flashcards until you have covered all of the information that you need to know. And then hit create and that is all done. So what I really like about Quizlet is that I can use other people's study sets who are actually on the same course as me at the same university. So if I click on subjects, you can see that I've added medicine at King's College London. So if I just click on medicine at King's College London, I can then find all of the study sets that other people at my university studying medicine have made. So for example, I might want to study this one, which is the intro to cardiovascular system. And there you go, I didn't even have to make my own flashcards, I can get on with my studying by using someone else's flashcards. And this is really useful for when you want to save time. And you can also use the search bar to search for flashcards as well as going through the university subject. So now I want to share with you how you can actually learn these flashcards using the test and match features. So first of all, what is the first line pharmacological management for depression? SSRI. Question two, how many symptoms are needed for a diagnosis of mild depression? Is it five plus minor functional impairment? That I believe is true. What are the two core symptoms of depression? So the two correct ones are low mood and anhedonia. And what psychological interventions can be used to manage depression? And I believe the answer is low and high intensity CBT and counselling. And then submit the test and we can see how we got on. So what I really like about test is that you can select the different question styles that you would like. So you can choose from true or false, multiple choice, matching and written questions. So you can select all four of them or just select the ones that you like. So now if we go into match, what psychological interventions can be used to manage depression, low and high intensity CBT and counselling, what is the first line pharmacological intervention for depression, that's SSRI, what are the two core symptoms of depression, and finally how many symptoms are needed for a diagnosis of mild depression, we know that is 5 plus minor functional impairment. Match is a fun game to check your knowledge in a short amount of time or if you want more variation in your studying. Quizlet has helped me to perform really well in exams whilst also making sure I maintain a work-life balance. So I hope you found this video helpful to see how I use Quizlet to help me study at medical school. Not only is using Quizlet fun, but it's also really effective.